participants in Island Park. Uh, and I want to know, do you guys want to know why Hub Billiards is the best billiards in Long Island? Yeah! yeah. yeah tell us why. How you doing, folks? So uh, we opened the pool hall about a year ago. We're doing a lot of different new things, bringing in live music, doing a lot of new leagues, brand new bar, lounge, um, lots of great people, great environment. One of the best places to be over on the weekends. Brad, when you took this place over, it didn't have the greatest reputation. It's like night and day, how much cleaner, beautiful, and all the music. You've done so much to make this place state of the art. Great, thank, well, thanks, Harry. I, I appreciate you saying that. You know, uh, you know, it's clearly, you know, it's really the, uh, the, the underlying uh, group of people already here. We haven't seen uh, a lot of uh, change in the, in the clientele. They were really just looking for something a little nicer, a little more comfortable to spend their time in. You know, you know, folks that enjoy billiards, enjoy shooting pool, it really gets into their blood. They, uh, they like to be here a lot, and uh, so there's a very faithful, solid clientele, as, as you may know, for 15 years. But what we found is that uh, by cleaning it up, it's like we like to say, we put a little, a little bit of lipstick on the old girl. Uh, the community is very responsive. You know, we get a lot of folks uh, from the area, Oceanside Island, Beach, as you know, and uh, everybody's responded to the concept really well. So uh, we're very grateful and uh, thankful for the locals. And, uh, for the locals and, uh, what I love is the. Uh when Joanna has her many music festivals, Hub Billiards is a big part of it. Talk about adding the, the bands and the music, adding that as a big part of the entertainment here at Hub Billiards. What's well, so unique is that you can, you know, not only can you come in, play some pool, hang out, and watch your sports, but um, we do have all this live music going on almost every weekend. We have a large variety of bands, everything from rock, jazz, blues, um, bringing in DJs on different groups. So it's a very diverse atmosphere. Really, we keep the place very open to almost any different person that would like to come in here. Um, and we try to just keep it open. And this way, everybody can come in here and have a good time, relax, and enjoy themselves. You know, and how we just jump on that, you know, you mentioned Jenna and her work. She's, she does, she's done a great job of um, talking, um, getting us involved, you know, helping us tap into the local music scene. And I'll tell you, you know what I think that has been a pleasant surprise uh, about you know joining this community is just how involved the, the locals are and the charities and the different events and the fundraising. And uh, we're always honored when we're, we have an opportunity to be part of that. But you know, Jenna has been a big part of uh, exposing our venue to the local musicians. We love off the, uh, the support of the local musicians and coming in and playing. And uh, for that, we're very grateful. So, you know, thanks for bringing that. That's awesome. That's great. Let's give it up for Matt and Brad. How are you? Now let's bring in Relay for Life. Let's bring in Shannon and Justin and Alexis. Because we know what is happening tomorrow, folks. It's the first day of school. I know. Remember back in those days, you get those jitters where uh, you, you go to school. It's the first day. And new classes, new teachers. There's always a little bit of that uh, nerves when uh, school starts. And, Let's uh, bring in Shannon first. Shannon, uh, does it ever get a little more relaxing knowing that first day of school is starting tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I'm still like very jittery about it. Just like finished all of my work today, but I mean, it's not the worst thing going up. It's definitely got it easier all the years. But I mean, I feel like you know every kid is in the same position. They're basically dreading it, but I mean, it should be a good year. You know, we're looking forward to it. Justin, talk about your very first day of school tomorrow, Long Beach. Well, uh, actually looking forward to it. Uh, exciting, getting a little hyped up. Uh, got tryouts going on, and uh, got all my school work done. Right, I want to know about Relay for Life. I mean, I saw you guys on the boardwalk during uh, volleyball tournaments. Um, we've been talking to the Lido Golf Club. And they said they would allow the Relay for Life to collect money right on the golf course. So we're going to try to do everything we can. So next week, we're having a huge fundraiser right here at Hub Billiards uh, to really kick things off. Talk about, Shannon, why you got involved Relay for Life and what Relay for Life is all about. Uh, yeah, we're really excited about all the fundraisers. We're trying to get an early start promoting the event this year, much earlier than last year. We've done a couple of really great fundraisers.
fundraisers. Um, we're so happy that Hub Billiards allowed us to come tonight. Next week, hopefully, we're going to bring in uh, some raffles, too, from local restaurants in Long Beach and maybe have, like, a polar bear basket, an American Cancer Society basket. Basically, we're just trying to bring the town together, let everyone know what's going on. It's just, it's a cancer walk, it's a great cause, and it's at the middle school. This year it's going to be June 9th at 7 to about 12 p.m., so it's a great event. Justin, every dollar raised in Relay for Life goes for cancer research. So it's going to make you, Alexis, Shannon, feel so good knowing that every dollar you raise tonight, next week, makes a difference. Yeah, it's really great to be a part of this organization, and uh, every dollar counts, and uh, hopefully we'll find the cure soon. That's great. Uh, let's bring uh, Jake. I want to ask Jake a few questions, and Alexis. Uh, Jake, uh, get over to him. No problem. Jake! Jake, why don't you slide in over here? Step into the office. Good job, Shannon. Woo! Jake, you wrote a song about uh, Daniel Bobbis. What was the motivation of the song? motivation was that uh, he was a great guy and like he helped me without him I wouldn't be surfing like he helped me through that and we just, and there was like a time like him and his wife were there for me and, like, basically that's what it was and, and so I decided to uh, write a song about him and yeah Alexis um, from all reports everyone loved Daniel what's the feeling going to be like um, the void you had him as a teacher. The kids are going to feel too Jake, you worked very hard on the song, the lyrics. Um, how excited are you to sing the song? I'm really excited to sing it. Uh, a little nervous, but excited. Yeah. Something else we're going to get you involved in. Um, there's an autistic boy. His name is Maxwell King. And you guys actually have a little uh, connection with the family. Um, he wants to uh, spoke to Glenn and his mom. Um, you're going to work with him, teach him how to surf. Talk about that. that Daniel Box reached out to you, helped you how to surf, and now you're going to reach out to an autistic boy. Talk about the feeling it's going to give you to work with this young boy and teach him how to surf. I was going to feel good that I could pass something on, but you know, somebody taught me so I can teach him. If I have, like, that was probably something I would bring to that. That's great. Uh, Alexis, um, as we uh, start school tomorrow, there's got to be a lot of excitement at the high school. Everyone's excited. The sports, the volleyball teams, the football teams, the jazz band. Talk about the excitement that first day of school brings. Well, I know everyone's sad to see summer go, but then again, when we go to the first day and we see everybody again, it's just like, it's just like everyone's excited to see summer. Plus, all the school sports and the clubs, there's a lot of excitement. And Jake, you have extra excitement because you love surfing. And how does it make you feel that the best surfers in the world are here in Long Beach for the next two weeks? Um, it's really cool. You know, it's a cool experience. You get to watch them and you know, just see what they're doing. And you can see what you're doing wrong. And watch, you know, you can learn from your mistakes out there in the water and uh, just learn off of them, basically. It's really cool. Uh, it's exciting uh, to see the, the surfing competition. It's brought a lot to uh, Long Beach. Unfortunately, the uh, festivals got canceled. But Alexis, talk about some of the things people can be excited about in Long Beach, especially uh, the girls and boys volleyball teams. I know are, are going to be expected to do very well this year. Well, yeah, there's a lot of festivities going on in high school, especially in Long Beach this year. This uh, surf competition to put Long Beach on the map, and um, all the new. All right, um, another great charity we're talking about. Um, uh, we, we talked about her a little last week, Valentina, and we want to talk about her again. There's a big charity coming up, and uh, 
let's bring in um, uh, uh, Jill. Yeah. And uh, Jill, talk about Valentina because it, it's it's a heartwarming story, and we want to know um, a little more about uh, Valentina and the charity coming up because I know it's coming up short. Yeah. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, WGBV, for allowing us to talk. I'm here representing. I'm here representing the friends of Valentina and her family, the Braven family. Valentina is a four-year-old girl who was diagnosed in July with a non-operative malignant tumor, and um, her family—they've left their job. The parents have left their job to take her to get um, to get some radiation and help in Texas. So all of us have formed a fundraiser to, uh, okay, right off, please. to help them, to get money for them. And it's going to be a great fundraiser. It's this Sunday at the Knights of Columbus um, in Oceanside. And it's from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock. We have lots of raffles, uh, great raffles, 42-inch flat screen TV, great bicycles. We have a large lithograph of Billy Joel that's signed that will be raffled off. And a professional video machine that would be great for the family. It has 30 to 40 games. Um, we have hundreds of baskets, um, theater tickets, children's gifts, restaurants. Everyone has been so generous. We have a box even with Botox and jewelry, um, possibly a vacation. Um, this could be a great Chinese auction. Uh, so there's a $30 admission fee, and then you get all the free food you want, or open bar, and um, if you can't make it, which we hope you can, you can send um, any charitable gifts you can to Friends of Valentina at 3317 4th Street, Oceanside, New York, 11572, or come by here next month.